Captain Steve for BoatTest.com. Today I'm on the 2206 DC by Trophy. Let's take a look at some of the features of this fish and ski package. At the bow, plenty of space. Anchor locker, there is mounts for putting your anchor into and keeping it secure. Underneath both bow seats, 22 and a half gallon fish lockers, self-draining. Here's an interesting feature. At the aft end of the fish compartment, access to below decks. Notice the straps, the snaps are able to slide back and forth rather than just be mounted directly on the strap itself. So when the cushion starts moving and swaying when you're in a seaway, it won't unsnap. The walkthrough windshield in the open position, there's no latch for it, so make sure you don't leave it open when you're underway, it might blow closed. Storage under the console. The head compartment stays open with a magnetic catch. Not too roomy. I've got to duck quite a bit to get in here. It's not padded on the sides. What I do like, though, is the light isn't attached to the overhead. It's on the aft bulkhead, so you're not going to hit your head on that as well. Check out the storage on the inside of the door. The sole locker opening is 30 inches, and the compartment itself is 72 inches. So good for storing skis or wakeboards. Now the helm is comfortable, not much plus for visibility, a little less than eight inches from the top of the dash to the top of the windshield. Over to the left side of the helm, your stereo. Notice that it's not mounted higher. Why? Because now you've got room for a moving map display, a fish finder, anything that you'd like to mount in this spot right here. VHF FM over on the right side of the Sea Star steering. Nowhere to put my feet though. I'd like to see a recessed spot or a flip down footrest, just something to put my feet on. Notice two drink holders, a nice touch. You've got one for your drink and another one for your glasses, your cell phone, stuff. Something always ends up in the drink holder. Good size armrest and it's in a nice position to make small incremental changes to the speed. To the port side, back to back seats that lay flat if you want to take a little nap or get some sun. I like the little recess spot here for putting stuff and two drink holders. Again, one for a drink, one for putting stuff in. Convenient grab handle. To the starboard side, small bait prep station, sloped downward towards the drain. A little place for messy bait. Again, draining. Not very deep, but that gives you space to put the cooler in and still allow you room to lift up the lid and get your sodas and what have you. Because it's secured in here by little brackets on the side. You actually lift the cooler up to bring it out. So it's nice that they make it so that when it's full of ice, water, sodas, snacks, lunches, you don't have to lift it up. You can just open the cooler lid and reach right in. One, two, three, four rod holders, under gunnel storage, bolster only on the port side that maxes out at 24 inches. At the aft center of the cockpit, a 35 gallon aerated live well. And two small storage compartments located on top of your battery trays. And for fishing off the stern, you can pull the seat back right out. And notice how it's got an upper button to release the catch. So you don't have to push that one down and then stick your finger in there and get it pinched. You just push that in and then insert. Underneath we have dual lifting strakes leading straight up to a reverse chine up to a narrow entry and a wide flare. This should be a very good sea handling boat. We'll have to find out during a full test. Well, that's our look at the 2206 DC by Trophy. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.